Minister Green says the festival's commission and the respective subcommittees are hard at work to ensure that this year's festivities are a success. According to Minister Green, they have advocated that the celebration of 59 years of carnival requires, like anything else, some rebranding, thus the change is being made to this year's event. One of those changes is the opening of carnival. Minister Green says over the years there has been a significant growth in t-shirt mass and how it impacts the opening of carnival. For the last couple of years, um, persons have not gone into the grounds because T-shirt Mass has grown exponentially. And so this year, catering for T-shirt Mass as a standalone activity, giving it the prominence it deserves, we are going to be doing something different for the opening of Carnival. Carnival will open on midnight, 24th proper. That is mm -hmm. one minute past midnight, so we're keeping our promise of open the 25th. Okay. But we build up to the opening. Teen Splash has also been rebranded to Teen Explosion, and the show promises to be one with a difference. Minister Green also speaks about the band Meet Band. A band Meet Band, a square off of the bands, and we also should be having two visiting bands from two of the neighboring countries um, as part of that band, um, band clash. It's a way of promoting that element of our festival, which really has held it together for several years. I mean, you just the other day, we had Wendy Fitzwilliams mm -hmm. here to judge Mr. Tiga Barbie the pageant. And we're talking about things in Antigua. And there are two things that you remember more than anything else. Viv Richards and cricket, along with Chicky Gravy and Papi, <laughs> may his soul rest in peace, mm -hmm. and the Burning Flames. Mm -hmm. And we know that over the last uh, 20 odd years, our bands have really carried the weight for, for Carnival. Um, our Calypso has dropped somewhat, but the bands have held their own, their own sorry. And so we, we, we're looking at promoting that element of Carnival, which has done so very well for us as a people. The culture minister says that next year's celebration promises to be even greater since they will be celebrating the 60th anniversary of the Caribbean's greatest summer festival. Chairperson responsible for Junior Carnival and opening of Carnival 2015 Parade, Erna Mae Brathwith, elaborated on the plans for the opening of Carnival. T-shirt mass is huge. Mm -hmm. And if you look, even the crowds watching the parade dwindled as a consequence because everybody's jumping. So that is why we thought, you know what, let's give everything its prominence. So with the, um, the opening now, uh, the, the first part, the first half, and if it's nice, we're doing it twice, <laughs> that half starts off with a parade. It starts at 6.30 p.m., but it is a lighted parade. So it goes from day into night. Mm -hmm. All the floats will be lighted. You have all the, the majorettes who have, they will have lights on them. Um, and you will see, as usual, all of your contestants in all the competitions. You have your JCs, your Optimus, um, uh, what did I say? Teen, Teen Explosion, Explosion. Soka Monarch, Party Monarch, Junior Calypsonians. Everybody will be on display. You will have your steel bands, just as you would, mm -hmm. but it's a lighted parade, which mm -hmm. makes it much more interesting. Other activities will include JC's Queen Show, Junior Carnival, Panorama, Party Monarch, Calypso Competition, Juve and the Judging of Troops, Parade of Bands, and Last Lap. Antigua's Carnival 2015, the Caribbean's greatest summer festival, will take place from July 25th to August 4th. Alciana Tita reporting for ABS News.